Yeah, I know. Smug. Had an attitude problem. Why is it the guys like that who have everything? Beautiful wife, nice apartment, more money than anyone deserves. They all lack humility. You ask if I killed them? I educated them. Permanent man. you said in Soho. Oh, told you she was a genius. So how was your audition? It was good. I, I went in, I did my thing, I left. And that's all he ever says. I don't even know why I bother asking. Hey, uh, we still have that champagne from your brother's, uh... uh... Yeah, 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 why? This one has big, exciting news. So what is this big news? I don't know, she wouldn't tell me anything. Wow, and you are quite the charmer. I know. You're killing me. <laughs> okay, where do I start? Um, thank you for mentoring me and for being such an incredible acting coach. This wouldn't have happened without you. And Sarah, thank you for sharing him with me and for making this happen in the first place. Oh my God, just say it. Right. Okay, now you're killing me. I got an audition for Jacob Reed's new Broadway show. <gasps> oh, that is amazing, girl. I did. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, so deserved. Thank you so, so much. I'm nervous. They want a monologue. I'm going to need your magic more than ever, Obi-Wan. Yes, young Padawan. But first, champagne. <laughs> I am not surprised. So tell me all, everything. What are the deep? They won't tell me anything. I got an audition for Jacob Freed's new Broadway show. <laughs> Drop when you called the agency, you said a mature woman with sex appeal. I am. Sex appeal. Sorry, it's just, I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't. But Gladys, the world's oldest escort, would and does. Don't show me a picture of Gladys. Be Gladys. Okay. Where'd you get this monologue? From a book of monologues? Why? Just wondering. Wait, 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 what was that? When I was young, I had really bad OCD. I had these rituals to ward off evil and protect my family. Like when I drove with my mom, I had this ritual to protect her car. Or when I had a test at school, I did what you just saw. It comes back when I'm nervous or flustered. I've never told anybody that. So, from the top? Sure. Whenever you're ready. OK, 
Okay, guys, take 10, and we'll take it from here. Rick, great adjustment. Thanks, Melinda. Oh, uh, y yeah. You were good, too. Love you, too, Willie. <laughs> what did I say about calling me Willie? Uh-oh. Nothing. It's Wilhelmina. Okay. Willie. Nice work on your woman. It's all thing. Gracias, papa. Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, you remember that girl, Lily? La bailarina. You were coaching her, right? Yeah. She just got uh, an audition for Jacob Reed's new Broadway show. What? That's awesome, primo. <laughs> you must be really proud. You know, she's only been acting six months. That means you're a good teacher. And she's pretty talented. Oh, yeah, I know. She's, she's talented. I do, why she would want to go from being a dancer to an actor is beyond me. <laughs> uh, we have to satisfy our artistic earnings. Dancers, unfortunately, have a shelf life. Actors don't. Yeah, but I mean, you know, after all that rejection and all the, the endless crap, I mean, a sane person would, uh, I don't know, want to do something else. Who said anything about artists being sane? Well, we're pretty sane, guys. We're not sane. The normal human works their whole life so they can retire and not have to work. We work our whole lives so we can get more work until the day we die, all the while hoping our ticket gets punched while we're on stage working. There's something insane about that. Everything is insane about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're helping her out with the audition? Yeah. Two hours a day, every day until it's done. Is Sarah cool with that? Yeah. Why well, wouldn't she be? Nah. You're alone with a pretty girl in an intimate setting. Come on, Chico. She's my friend. Mm. And she's old enough to be my daughter. <laughs> is this that whole men and women can't be friends thing? Well, yes. My abuelo used to call it la circulación del varón. <laughs> and he said it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> la circulación del varón, sí. <laughs> and I know disrespect to abuelo, but I think that's a load of bull. Hey, Willie, back me up on this. Well, yeah. I think that whole men and women can't be friends thing is a load of crap. It's just a, a lazy attempt at a get out of jail free card passed on from generation to generation by pendejos who can't keep it in their pants and have no respect for their wives. True. That was a little bit more backup than I was expecting. You asked. Uh, I walked in. <laughs> so the come on, you've never been cheated on by a guy? Hi, <laughs> papito. I'm a lesbian. Okay. Okay. We don't play those games. Unless we're both PMSing and then somebody always throws somebody out and you end up sleeping on the couch. Besides, I'm Latina. And you know what that means. That if I were straight and a guy would do that to me, oh my God, he'd be risking his life. And his huevitos. Se terminó la circulación del varón. That was scary. Yeah. Yeah, well, you guys better be on your best behavior. You know, just in case. Hey. Listen, from now on, when you book something, don't post about it. Because you're of a certain age and it makes you look desperate to casting. So, I'm not allowed to use the greatest free marketing tool ever invented for actors because I'm of a certain age? Yep. Got it. Good news. Lily is killing it. I mean, I just signed her last week and bam! Audition for a lead in a Broadway show? Yeah, I heard. Listen, I know this is good for all of us as a whole, but uh, maybe I don't want to hear about it all. Am I glad I didn't ignore you on that referral? Yeah, thanks for listening. So, I submitted you for wise. Patrick, 40s, Latino, 100% bilingual, recurring guest star. And John Lloyd's office wants to see you. Finally. For another role, bookstore clerk. He has one line. Everything is in your email. I'll confirm you. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I've got to take this. Talk to you later. She deserves to know. She should be allowed to 
audition just like the rest of us. You really feel that way? Yes. Then why haven't you told her? I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Toronto flights. Okay. Do you want to come out there with me on Wednesday or do you want to go on Friday? Actually, I think Friday might be better because I'm going to be working. I'm looking for the best dancers I can find. Sure. I don't care what size, which shape, what Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening to you. Wednesday or Friday? Friday's better. Okay, you're not listening to me. I want your opinion. Do you? Really? Because it sounds like you've already decided for me. Okay, that's not fair. Look, I, I don't want to fight about this. All right, it's silly. You're right. Friday's better. Not what your friends told you to be. I just want you to react. I'm sorry. How was I supposed to react? <sighs> okay. What is going on with you? What? Nothing. Oh, okay, no. What is going on with you? You have been distant and picking at me all week. There is something going on. Is it me? No, no. 27 years. What 27 years? I've been a professional actor for 27 years. I know that. I know you do. I just needed to hear myself say it out loud. 27 years professionally, 17 of which have been spent trying to get on Broadway. I have spent a gazillion dollars in voice lessons. I've been to every workshop under the sun. I, 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 I've gotten up at the ass crack to go to every EPA audition. And still, nada. And then along comes this kid who's new to this whole acting thing. And she's incredibly talented and she's incredibly dedicated, but she just got to the party. Are you jealous? No. Yes. A little, maybe. I I mean, this happens all the time in this business. I, I should be used to it by now. But uh, I, I've lost my fire. I've lost my balls. You remember when we first met? Oh, yeah. You were so cocky. I was. No. No. You were confident. There's a difference. Look, I'm not going to lie, but I've... I've seen the confidence beaten out of you for the past couple of years. But you know what I've also seen? I've also seen you pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep moving forward. That's just it. I mean, I don't know if I'm a help or a hindrance. Right? If I've never gotten my foot in that door, how, how can I help her? Well, that's it. You got that all figured out. Uh, why don't you just go to the freezer and take out a bag of ice and put it in that hole where your balls used to be. Actually, no, you should uh, alternate between heat and ice. Mm -hmm. It's better for them. Or you can stop whining and get back to being the man that I married and give that girl 100% like you promised her. Here. What's this? Open it. Those are your balls. You need to get out of your head you're the only one responsible for feeling this way. Not Broadway, not the business, not somebody else, just you. Besides, I need all those ice packets in the freezer. Why don't you sit here, take a little time with your balls, and I'm gonna go upstairs and take a bath. And I'll see you there. See that coming. We were on the football team together. Not anymore. He won't ever do that again because he's dead now. I made sure of that. And now I'm the true running back because I killed him. We were on the football team together. Go. To Charlie Vasquez? Yeah, I'm Charlie. Great. Again. Go on in. Uh, Linda now. Jones. You are on deck. Oh, hey, Charlie. Hey. You all set? You got any questions? Nope. Great. All right, we'll slate first, and then we'll go right into it.
Hi, I'm Charlie Vasquez. I'm 6'2". Where's Baking Digest? Aisle 9, under B. Great, thanks, Charlie. You free on the 27th? Yep. Awesome. Good to see you. I'm curious. Why didn't you bring me in for Patrick? Patrick um, just wasn't the right fit. Right. I can see how 40s bilingual Latino is a stretch. Network went a different way. He's 25 now. Of course. Is this my ceiling? Should I just be content with two lines here, three lines there? I mean, should I not aspire to something else? Be honest. You're one of the best in town. You're dependable, and you're not crazy. These are the toughest roles to cast. I mean, Meryl Streep would have a problem with a co-star. Oh, are you bringing her in next week uh, for a meter maid number two? Don't give me the workshop answer. Just tell me the truth. What do you want to hear, Charlie? Acknowledgement? That I paid my dues? That the years I've spent busting my ass in this business means something when I'm up against these kids? Well, you think you're the only one that has to compete against people half your age? I mean, I'm holding on to what little I have here. I mean, I'm fighting tooth and nail to bring in good actors like you instead of hiring the insta-famous. I mean, I, I have to work twice as hard to get these gigs that are just handed to these, to these children. There's a new breed out there, and they know how to play the game and how to win. We have to take our little victories whenever we can, Charlie. But you and I, we're not that different. I'm not your enemy, Charlie. That, I get. Thanks, John. Thanks for your honesty. I'll see you soon, Charlie. Oh, and if Streep turns you down, you'll be the first to know. Time ticking, I keep walking past myself without ever looking. It's all worth the pain, just trust the same. Keep all ahead of the game. Time ticking, I keep walking past myself without ever looking. It's all worth the pain, just trust the same. Keep all ahead, would I? Can it be an original monologue? Yes. Why? Tell me about this OCD thing. Tell me about your mom driving you to school and, and when you used to have to take a test. What? I want the whole story. Show me. I don't understand. What about Gladys, the world's oldest escort? She's good, but I think this, this, this true-to-life story, this piece of you, is great. And it's relatable. And that's all anybody ever wants to see, right? Something that they can relate to. Take me there. Take me there. <laughs> <For me. laughs> She's supposed to text. We still have your sister's uh, champagne <sighs> in that thing. Yes, we do. It is in the refrigerator. Let me sleep on the and I'll have a better audition. <laughs> By the way, I just oh, stage right! I 
believe that the road doesn't end Would I care to ever travel again? Would I? Would I ever dare to admit that I missed it? Would I? 